Hughes 6-4 for the single finger event. So he is under the cosh. He needs to perform soon. Yep. A pressure that the wizard perhaps hasn't felt for a while because last year on the Euro Tour he's very good. 140. A couple of finals. Yeah, exactly. Final in the International Darts Open. Final in Copenhagen as well, the Danish Open. I've got to ask you, Dan. Was he didn't enter Hilda's home. Or something else. Was that a mistake? Well, it, it may look like one. Give this give it 25 Chris minutes. Uruguay, I'll give you an answer then. But, yeah, was that when he was out in the Philippines playing the various tournaments out there? Yeah. He was over in... Tacloban? Tac yeah. It was in, in the same Chris venue. They had a big tournament they have every year in the Philippines. And the Asia Tour going on the same venue. Crystal is going to be back for 75. 94. These are possibly record breaking points that Simon Whitlock is using. They're enormous, these things. Singular team oh. is missed. 35. Simon Uruguay, 52. Let's have a look at these points then. Now, these stone grip points he's used before, but they're enormous long things. They are very big. Tops is yes, there. The first leg, Simon Whitlock. Well, second leg, Simon those points. Throw first. You get a nosebleed. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, the only points I can think of that rival him are probably just in pipes. And he is a tinkerer, is Whitlock. He's a man who developed his own points last year. In fact, his, his run to the finals on the Euro Tour with the ones he knocked up in his garage, the now patented and on sale Wiz Hex point that he fashioned out of some mini Allen keys that he bought in a big bag from Wilco's or whatever. 134. I'm not so sure that he should have switched away from those things because he's playing properly when those hex points are in. They are very big points. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they're almost the length of the barrel. 58. You see the dart wobbling in the board. That's not a good sign. Mm. Look at the dart of Reyes going in. Solid, doesn't wobble, straight in there, lovely angle. 140. But with Whitlock's, it's going in at such a steep angle, it's actually having to correct itself. Look at that wobble. He wasn't getting that with the hex point. Well, no, they were, he used it for exactly that. He didn't want them to move once they stuck in the board. And evidently, he decided to change. He has changed things around. He does tinker with little things. But this is it's quite a significant change. 131. Well, there is a lot of action on the points of both players, whether it's grip rings or stone technology. But they've about one and a half legs in, they've given that board a black eye. Chris Uruguay, 96. He's got more pop marks than Stephen Hendry's face in 1990. <laughs> 78. Oh, he is going to come back, Christo. Snooker reference for you snooker fans with the World Championship on the way there. We're all, all getting a bit loopy at this time of night. There's another one there. Good. 56. Chris Uruguay, 18. All right, double nine. Or two for double eight. To be on equal terms. Is that too close? Two. Wow. Well, so I mean, you require it, one hundred and thirty. Like it might have been destined there, but it's so difficult to tell. He's not happy about it. That's awkward. Nearly found his way past it. 65. In the end, he has to set up a score, but double 18, he was close. And now he's on the second leg, Chris Reyes. Third leg, it's Chris to throw first. 1 1. Game on. So, yeah, you mentioned that the Dutch Starts Championship, it was a, a win for Whitlock back end last year. 6 1 win, convincing one. First time he'd ever beaten Chris He'd lost the two previous ones in singles competition, it should be said. He'd lost in the Austrian Darts Open the year before, and he also lost in the World Cup Warner. earlier last year. Christo won it 4-2, and as I recall, it was a bit of a mugging. 100 and You can see the darts are wobbling, two. but they stick it in. That's stone grip. There are a few players. Colin Lloyd's darts used to have that sort of stone grip type thing. Uh, Peter Wright, one of his sets, has 140. Sort of stone grip. Kind of feel to it. it is a very very aggressive grip 
yeah, too Lloyd, aggressive. Lloyd was the first one. person to use it. Mm. But you can understand why it would be handy on a point to make it stick in there. But you can also understand why it is ripping chunks out of that. I remember when Ronnie Baxter had started using the point with the grip rings in the middle of the point. Mm. And he was, I think he was one of the first people to use them. He's taking the points out the board and he could see it taking the sizzle away from the board. It's a good job they chase those boards after every match. It's almost like the cricketing thing, you know, the spot map with the mm. balls. 439. Well, delivered about Simon, 60 Yorkers so far. Treble 20 for double 19. Just shy on that treble 18. I'm almost surprised he didn't go for double 19, double tops. That's very much Whitlock's MO. Well, I've seen him on plenty of times. He's got 78 with three darts in hand. Go treble 20 for double 9. You know, really so weird. 62. Weird decision making. Options but from 62 for Reyes, though. He might go the Anderson route of 18s, but... Six leaves 56. That leaves double four. That's yeah, excellently done. Third leg, Chris Owen. Like well, said, Simon he's to playing his way into four. And yeah. things like that are going to inflate his confidence. Yeah, Chris, he had a run to the last 16 in Barnsley. He had one in Wigan as well. He had a run to the last 16 at oh, the UK see. Open. So it, it's a long while since we've seen Christo make a quarter final of anything. You've got to go back, well, quite a long way actually. But there, there was a time, he had back to back semi finals. 434. The last quarter final that Christo had, you've got to go, it was when he made back to back semi finals on the Euro Tour. It was uh, Hamburg and then Austria in 2017. 419. Long, long while. Nearly two years. And he's just sort of tumbled down. In that time, Tony Alcinas, his fellow Spaniard, has started coming, worked his way back and started winning games, eight. making it to the World Championship. You've seen the emergence of uh, Justi, uh, Jose Justicia, as another Spanish player. Uh, you've now got a, a, a genuinely dangerous Portuguese player, in Jose de Sousa, who he's good. He's playing some really good darts at the minute. And I don't know, sometimes having those other players around. I think we've seen it with Max Hopp. Max Hopp is going to start to pick up a bit. When Martin Schindler came on the scene and really started doing bits, it can help. And there's a little cadre of Spaniards on the tour. 140. We see we've got 170. Well, Whitlock's going to have another shot at 98. Do you think he changes his route? 93. I think he goes to 20 first guard, but if it's a single 20, do you think he changes? No, he's going 18s again. <laughs> in the four again. 66. Now, Chris this is a very doable shot for Chris Stort. This will hurt Whitlock. Double 10. Big dart. It's for a break of throw. Excellent. Yeah, on the fourth leg. Brilliant dart Chris for Chris Stort. Yeah, two legs Chris to throw first. Darts. I have to say, when he, when he two years ago, when Christo really was Game on. tearing things up, and he was he was being denied really cruelly in the latter stages of tournaments, many of them European tours, and Peter Wright was a, a particular bet noir of his. I really, I really did think he was bound to win something at some point because he was just getting better and, better and better and better every year that went past. He got better. And he got closer and he became the first Spaniard into the top 32 in the world rankings. 174! That's more likely from Whitlock. And the facial expression of Captain Whitlock before Rios threw his first start in this leg were a picture. It's summed up his season so far. He doesn't look happy. 59. He's grinding so hard, but with very little fruit. This is a man who made the final of the European Championship at the back end of last year, remember? You know, things were pretty rosy in Whitlock's garden. He followed that up with quarter-final runs at the World Series Darts Finals, the Grand Slam. All right, it was an early exit at the World Championship. But this year, you know, when it, many people were shouting from the rooftops that Simon Whitlock should have been the person to replace Gary Anderson in the Premier League. 
it, it may have been a bit of no, a blessing that he wasn't in with the way that he has played at the start of this year. Look, of course, if he was in, maybe maybe it would have been different. Maybe that would have kicked him on to be playing at a better... Maybe maybe it's the, the omission that has dented his confidence. confidence. That's what it is. That's what a lot of people think. They think that he should have been in ahead of somebody else. And as a result... 96. Whitlock just suffered because of that little kick in the gut. I think somebody said it was. But Riaz on 133. Interesting shot that. If he'd have got the 57, he might have gone double 19, so double 19. 90. Whitlock has to take this. Can't afford to let Reyes have a pop at top. Yes, and he doesn't. That's there. a great so check out. Win. The wizard on the bullseye cuts the gap to just Chile one leg. Simon when to throw first. Reyes could have made Game it three. On. Yeah, it's very Whitlock that shot. Loves a bull check out. Mm -hmm. And I think that brought a smile to Reyes' face. He's ready to <laughs> scrap it out. Oh, I love that. <laughs> what a late day. night Reyes. Fantastic stuff. I, he, he is. I, I think actually he's become a bit more demonstrative over the last few months because he has had a tough time it, it, certainly the last year it's been his hardest time in PDC darts but I mean the UK Open we were playing some really good stuff L lost that to Rob Cross in the end but he had it was L meltdown in that game 450 he was hugging the board they were, Rob Cross had gone off for the mid-session mid-game break Reyes sort of collapsed against the board and Hugh Ware didn't know what to do yeah 45 didn't know where to look well, last night you, you made me laugh because there was a few media folk around and some of the backstage crew all in short sleeves and there's Crystal Reyes in a winter court yes well this must be Tenerife. winter for him yeah well if he loses the match it's going to be winter in his heart 125 it's very likely to be 3-3 three, three. he's not going to stay there is he he went for the Hollywood shot The, the equivalent of having an easy catch as a goalkeeper and putting a somersault on the end. Yeah, one for the cameras. They don't catch footballs anymore, do they, goalkeepers? They like a punch. Yeah. 140. Right. Simon Uruguay, 40. To punch his way to a level game. Simon Whitlock needs double 10. 30. Big misses. Chris Uruguay, this is doable. 21. He'll explode if he hits this. And he's not going to. So. 130. Spanish in Simon Uruguay. His breath leaves himself on double four, and we've seen plenty of these double fives miss today. Yeah, it's on the sick leg. So that one went in with a bit so of a wobble. So Chris there to throw first. Game had a bit of wire on it. I'm not completely convinced about this setup for the wizard, but hey, look, he, he, there, are, there are not many people more expert than Simon Whitlock on the tiny well, variations of the dart setup and how they can affect your game. He doesn't always get it right, though. No, well, true. About 12 months ago, I was on a pro tour table with him, and he was with his driver, security guy, Pazzo, and we were timing him to see how long it would take for him to return to the table because he didn't like the setup for the day. With one of the setups, it took 40 seconds for him to come back. <laughs> I think he threw three darts and said, no. I don't like those. <laughs> I think he changed about five times and he ended up 140. using the darts that he started with at the very start of the day. <laughs> right there. Oh, dear. So he's looking at the 18s there and put it in the one. He's had, he's had a few wild. Dogs. 121. But one of my favourite things is that he was telling everybody about these hex points that he'd come up with, and uh, uh, he said, "No, you can't, you can't broadcast it. it. I'm trying to get patented." Oh, look at that! 171 for the Wizards. Look at the passion. But yeah, he was telling, and then they were patented and they were going on sale. He wanted to tell everybody, he couldn't stop 96. telling people about it. He, he hasn't won a title with them yet, but he put some in Max Hop starts and he went and won one. <laughs> Royalties. <laughs> 19 for Bullseye. Can he get the bull again? Ooh, how 
was that mixed? 69. Well, Simon was just too good. 65. 66. A single 16 will give him a shot of the bolt. It's double nine. And the yeah, trouble is, Simon, that is too Chris good. Array. That's brilliant from Reyes. Like Simon El Bueno. Game on. Superb check out, and one that evidently means a lot to the Spartan. Beat Michael Hurt 6 2. It was only an 87 average. This is better. This is a, a sneakily high quality game. 96 average Whitlock, 95. Well, it's actually just dropped a little bit, but 95 the pair of them. It's good. It's good without being anything flashy. It's been pretty solid. Not much of that in this game, as Christo gives us some more history on it. It won't bother. Simon Whitlock. Whitlock is sometimes completely oblivious as to what's going on in the state. Not always. Not always. Oh, 135. Talking about a certain quarter final at the Grand Slam. Uh, yes. Yes. I mean, there have been occasions where he's been obviously aware of what's going on. But 140. I mean, the, the, the Grand Prix final with Daryl Gurney there seems to be outrage from certain quarters about Gurney's behaviour. The Wizard was the least bothered about oh, any of, it, of anybody. It's a bit like the whole Sago Asada incident. Sago was just, well, what was the problem? <laughs> yeah. Sago seems the, the least bothered of anybody out of it. Oh! 45. Well, that's no help to him. Gets that break of throw and all of a sudden he just feeds the Whitlock 100. machine. 100. Doesn't turn up in the next leg. The old adage, isn't it? It's not a break unless you hold in the next leg. Every possibility this is going all the way. No, he misses the 25. It's got to be a 16, really. Oh, he's missed a 16. Yeah, go for the 18. 20 was a gamble. Going for the 12, he then has to go to tops with a block bed. The 16 was the shot. Particularly with those very, very long points, that's going to be blocking even more with his darts. No, so, you require 32. So, again, for a break back in a level game. That flight is in the way. Doesn't okay, matter. Simon Wynn. I think it's Chris there to throw first. Game on. Thoroughly really enjoying this one, Dan. I think yeah. it's a great game of darts. Irrespective of the fact that Treble 20 looks like he's been hit with Hellraiser's face. Tense and it evidently means a lot to both of these guys. Christo is, 96. is just scrapping constantly to try and put something together to win games back to back to back to do what he was doing two years ago. Simon Whitlock has just had very little to celebrate so far this year. Yeah, crumbs, if that. Yeah, I mean, the, the Players' Championship series. 93. The Wizard is in the 80s. There are 85 players who are averaging more than him over the course 44. of the Players' Championship Series. We've had 12 events. He's only played 20 games. And that shows you how many first-round exits he's had. He went out first in the first four. He's gone out in round one or two of another four since then. Yeah, PC 12, or Players' Championship 12, is his best result. That was the last 16. And that equals his best result of the season at UK Open, which was the last 16. But at the same time, yes, he made the last 16 there, but Whitlock won two games. One was with an 80 average, one was with a 77 average. Well, and and this is much better than Whitlock. It's his second maximum. Leaves him 32. What a setup that was. This would hurt. He needs another one. Doesn't get it. And Whitlock, like a Formula One driver, has. The steering 74. wheel in his hand, he just needs to plug it in to be in the driving 32. seat. Perfect setup shot from Whitlock. But he cannot 74. find the double, and look at that head in hands 54. for the wizard. Double top for Reyes. Misses from the Spaniard also give Whitlock another chance. 
does Reyes believe that he's going to win this match or does he think the gods are against him he looks to the heavens yeah, the Whitlock's there for 5-4 he's won away and Tonight, Reyes Simon needs to find something deep in that pocket of his to deny the magician that is Whitlock game on uh, there, there's a a rueful smile on Reyes' face because I think it's just happening again I'm here again there's a, there's a game here and I've played all right and there have been chances but I just haven't been able to take them one of these guys is going to win the thing is both of them are probably in such a state at the minute the start of 2019 that they don't believe that they're going to win. they're just hoping yep. they're hoping that something happens they're hoping their opponent makes some mistakes they're hoping just something just they just shank a dart into a double to win a leg somewhere because they don't have the confidence that they can go out Easy. and seize this game by the scruff of the neck and dominate and impose themselves. Because they haven't been doing that lately. Certainly not enough. And say like Christo has been showing signs of coming back into form, but as soon as you think, oh, he's back, it just goes again. I heard an analogy the other day about confidence and sports psychology. Confidence is like snakes and ladders. Oh, it takes a lot of work ball. to build your way up. But one certain instance you can lose confidence and slide all the way down it's it they just what they are at the minute is fragile things can be going great and we've seen that with a number of players and the one i always come back to is yellow Clarkson because there are times when you think oh he's going to average 110 here and then one mistake well, and it all goes horribly wrong but simon whitlock might just be finding a way to come through this Hang about. One Good dart from Reyes. Needed that minimum. And Whitlock should get a match dart. Will it be at the bull? Will it be a double 14? He'd love to at double 14 in this spot. Will he even hit the big 20? Perfect. Double seven. seven there was a hesitation four. on that double seven Zero shot. A little twist. 68 with that twist of the dart in the hand and this 68 to keep the match alive one dart a double 16 oh, my word and that one's on a different Five, canary uh, island 14 yeah it wasn't close was it double two and the Excellent. wizard has won! It has been a horrendous start to 2019 for the wizard Simon Whitlock, but he's in the final day here at the German Dart.